Hey, what's happening guys? I thought we'd do a little experiment today to see how much power an Arduino, and in one special case, the ESP8266 uses. Now, in doing this, we have uploaded the basic bare minimum sketch, which is simply the empty setup loop and the empty main loop. There's nothing else going on here. Now, for our power setup, I have my desktop power supply set to supply five volts at a maximum of a half an amp. I know we're gonna nowhere near a half an amp, but I just wanna make sure that we're covering the overhead. And for our experiments, we have an Uno, a Mega, Pro Micro, Nano, and the Wemos D1, which is an ESP. 8266 board. So let's start with the Uno. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way here. And we'll bring in the meter set for milliamps. And I'll make sure I remember to turn the hold off, which I have. So from the power supply, running out of cable here, okay. So from the power supply, we are going directly to the VN pin. And then from the ground, we are going, whoopsies, unplugged that there, didn't I? We are going through the meter, which is set to microamps range, and then back to ground. So, let's power up the power supply and see what happens. All right, power it up. And we're getting almost 35 milliamps. 34.6, 34.7. A, that's a bit more than I was expecting. So the Uno we're going to call... 34.7 all right next up let me set this up with a nano all right now we're set with the nano everything is the same from the power supply to the vn from the ground through the multimeter back to ground and we power it up wow i'm i'm quite surprised at these readings so 16.5 milliamps for the nano all right let's swap out the nano and bring in the pro micro give me a second here to find the okay there's raw looks like ground is right next to it All right, Pro Micro in three, two, one. Okay, let's call that 51 milliamps. Now, one thing that we are going to notice here with the Pro Micro is it is firing three LEDs that I can't turn off. So that's going to account for a little bit more. All right, who's next? Uh, let's bring in the Mega. All righty, there's the Mega, same setup. V in and ground, let's power up the power supply. And I think we're gonna have to call that 51 milliamps for the Mega. So it is uh, coming in the same as the micro now I tell you I just I'm really surprised by some of these all right and our last one of the day is the Wemos D1 ESP 8266 Wow 
124. Uh oh, if it goes any higher, I'm gonna have to call it 125. Yep, gonna have to call that 125 milliamps. And you can see that the Wi Fi is powered down. That's a that's quite a few amps, or milliamps in this case. So here's our information. This column lists the board names, this column lists the microcontrollers, and this column lists our idle milliamps. I didn't list the processing speed because the boards aren't really doing anything. So the highest is the Wemos D1 ESP8266 at 125 milliamps. The Pro Micro and the Mega tie at 51 milliamps, although I believe if the Pro Micro didn't wasn't powering those three LEDs, we could probably get it down to around the nanos range of 17 milliamps. The Uno comes in at 35 milliamps. Now, I don't have a Pro Mini to test, but I have seen a video by Julian Eilert where he managed to get the Pro Mini to come in at around 14 milliamps with no um, messing with the uh, clock prescaler or desoldering anything. Now, if you want to get into the clock prescaler, desoldering the LEDs and the voltage regulator, you can get the Pro Mini down to around 8 milliamps. But this is uh, just a test of straight up what they like, what they are like out of the box. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow where we will draw the winner of the Bench Power Supply giveaway. And thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.